We're Ben and Emily, and we've brought ourselves an ex-ambulance to kit out into a second tiny home on wheels. We've given ourselves three weeks to fit it out, and there's still plenty to do. We've been living on our narrowboats for the last three years, travelling the UK waterways, but recently we bought a van to convert into another living space that we can travel further in. This is week two of the van build. So a bit of an update on the van build. We're starting on the sort of kitchen area. So this is where the oven's going to sit, this is where the fridge is going to be with a sink on top. So I'm just making, I say I, my dad and me, I'm making various walls and platformy bits. This is going to be the lid, if you like, of the bench seat that goes here and it's all going to be clad with um, pallets up the sides and on the front and stuff. And then Benny's going to build some doors for the bench here. Right, well the, the van's coming along well. The last couple of days me and my dad have been building the kitchen. Built another bench. This yeah. bench, it's massive. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it's a good thing I think. We've finished the shower cubicle, that's now, well, I say finished, it's pretty much there. So as you can see, it is a bench. Also, this folds up, my dad's fantastic design. <laughs> it's had a few coats of varnish inside the um, yacht varnish. And then we just need to obviously seal around the edge. And we've got these nice hinges on it. Yeah, some little frog hinges there. And we're just waiting to decide how to finish the top of it and the side of it. Yeah, we might because... do it the same colour as this, but we're not sure yet. Yeah. And this one, the lid doesn't come off, we'll just have... Benny's going to make some cupboard doors for this side. So, this is our new fridge. I have resisted temptation and left it in its packaging. I really want to unwrap it, but I know if I do that, as soon as I do it, I'll scratch it really badly. So this is where the sink was going to go, um, but we sort of mismeasured things a little bit and it's not a big enough space. But the good thing is we can now put the sink here and I've bought some nice Mexican tiles to do all the rest of the work top there and on here and then like a strip down the side of the wood burner as well. So are we about 10 days in now? Uh, yeah, something like that. Like this, I think you got here no, it's on not week quite... on Thursday ago, Dave, and that's kind of when we started doing it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been, it'll be more than three weeks. I think we're going to try and set off on the 1st of March or the 2nd of March, and it is mm. now the 19th of March, so. No, it's the 19th of February. February. <laughs> oh my God. So yeah, I think we should do it in two weeks, hopefully. I think it's going to be yeah, doable, doable. I, two, I, two more weeks, yeah. yeah. I think so. So, yeah, exciting. Exciting stuff. It's really coming together. And actually, I forgot to say that we've bought a window that's going to be going in here, and the solar panels are on their way, and the mattress for the bed is on its way as well. Cue the slow mo montage. Okay, so this is the oven that we're having in here. Please fit, please fit, please fit. It definitely fits, I've measured it. Why is it so high up? That's fine, it's oh. good like that. That's uh. good like that. Oh, I measured it so many times. Too many times. Oh my God, why is it so high <laughs> it's up? It's not that high up, it's just a bit it high. It was supposed to be that much higher than this worktop. So we've built this space for this cooker and we don't even know if it works. Probably a bit silly, but we've only just got the gas bottle, so. Oh, I can't believe it doesn't right. fit. Have you got all well, the bits then? It does then? fit, but it's just... Let's see. It could be worse, I guess. Right, we've got the gas tube and the regulator. Let's get this on. The cooker's in, we've checked the gas, we tested it with washing up liquid around the joints and there's no leak. It just needs a clean and then it's, and we need it's to ready fix to go. It in. Yeah, we need to fix it in. 
It's a great oven. It's so cool. And the thing is in Rambler, this is a very big oven for such a small boat. And as soon as I've taken it out, there's so much more space where it was. So I could get a way smaller like little, little, hob, so a little hob or something just to make teas or fry fried goods. But yeah, it's all good. I think it's better in here. It makes really. more sense in here because we definitely want to be able to cook pizzas. It's about the 12 of the we've had in the family. Yeah, we've always had these in our vans, me and my dad. Mm -hmm. They're so good. It was then time to chop and prep some pallet wood ready for the cladding. I've made a frame for the worktop to go on. A bit of an unusual shape. And now I'm going to put on a worktop. I've just cut a rectangle shape for it, but I need to cut a bit more detail so it fits in nicely. We're not too precious about how the wood looks at this stage because Emily has decided to tile it, which is pretty exciting. So for now I'm going to cut the right shape with the ply and see if I can get it to fit in now. I don't know if it's going to fit yet, so you might not want to film it. Oh, of course I want to film it. No, we only film perfection. <laughs> it's in you won't get it out again that's in that's gonna be such a great work top mm. just popped out to B&Q to get some like natural it's actually beeswax that I've got um, to do these pieces of pallet for the side of the wood burner and the side of this bench down here and just come back and Betty's made an amazing work top. I'm so happy. Oh yeah, yeah, my yeah, goodness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it looks, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks great. So we've got a big round sink that's going to go in here. And I've brought a load of tiles, I think I mentioned, to put on here. And then you just, just bought some edging. edging that was going to go yeah. That. Well, it's going to look really nice. I'm still not sure what to do about these yet. We're hoping we can paint them. A few of you in the comments have said if we sand it, we should be able to paint them. I did get some difficult surface paint. So hopefully. That'll work out, but oh, it is looking so cool. Love this kind of facing. Considering it's quite a small space, it feels really open in here. It's nice. I'm really glad that we didn't do like a really tall shower cubicle because it just means that it keeps the space really nice and open. It'd feel really cramped, wouldn't it? I think if that had been like a full length shower cubicle, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, it would have dominated the room too much way too much good work yeah, oh it's bad. looking good we're actually hoping that we can go away at right at the start of march maybe the second of march so all right i'm gonna wax these pieces of pallet and get them put on the edgy bits where they live please stop being so critical of everything because you can't find one cushion oh that's the problem isn't it oh, this is good this. <laughs> go on then run up a tree <laughs> this stuff smells amazing. Should we see what it looks like on the wood? So I think I'm going to do some of them with the natural and then some of them with like the darker. Let's see what it looks like. It's, it's not. It does absolutely nothing! It's more for the finish. Look at the transformation. It's a preservative, isn't it? Well, it's kind of what I wanted to be honest. I just wanted it to... I really like... <laughs> it is! Mwah! It does bring it out a bit. Oh yeah. Sort of. Very subtle. I'm excited to get these on the... Yeah. On. Yeah. This is going to be like the first aesthetic thing that we put up, isn't it really? Yeah. Nice. Next, Benny prepared some wood to fit over parts of the old ambulance electricals and I waxed the pallet cladding with a mixture of natural beeswax and a darker wax. Keep going! Oh oh. Acrobat! Wow, Alan! What you doing? Now what are you up to? Huh? You wanting to go back in? Come on, stay outside for at least half an hour. Go on then. Go on, yeah! <laughs> okay, it's getting a bit dark now, but I've finished waxing all the pieces of wood. So we've got some dark ones and some light ones, so I'm now gonna do this edge here and then I'll do the cupboard over here.
Very happy with that. Apart from Benny said I should have screwed it from the other side. Whoops. <laughs> Thanks. It doesn't matter. Well, it's rustic. It's rustic, guys. So the screws make it look more rustic. Rustic as you like. And the fire is going. <laughs> Making the frame. Yeah. Right, Alan. You ready to help? Do you think that looks all right? It'll never be right in Alan's book. She's too much of a perfectionist. <laughs> I'll have to do, Alan, I'm afraid. You know, I think it looks great. You don't let her put you off. <laughs> <laughs> One last piece, Alan. You've been a good toolbox today. Yeah. A very good toolbox. Nearly had a fight with Ginger, didn't you? Ran after him. Poor guy. I don't know what happened. I think Alan thought Ginger was a duck or something. Because she galloped after him, like she does how she chases ducks. And then she realised it was actually Ginger and not a duck. Pissed. <laughs> and then ran as fast as she could in the other direction. Pissed at him, the poor guy. Uh, and then she sort, of like, she sort of puffed out like a puffer fish. Yeah, she turned into a hit. big ball. Happy with it, Alan? Is that alright? Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm happy with that. Straight into the new worktop. <laughs> Is that pretty much it for today? Yeah. Yeah. I think my dad's made some kind of wondrous dinner. Wild Dave's chowder. <laughs> that's what then he started it was. calling him Wild Dave. I think that's it for today. We'll catch you tomorrow. When I think. What are we doing tomorrow? Putting the sink in? Yeah, we'll put the sink. The bits that I bought for the sink were the wrong bit, so I need to find some new bits. And then, yeah, maybe building some more shelves. Who knows? Who knows? Night. Today, me and my dad are going to be looking at the water system. So we've got a 70 litre water tank, we've got some pipe, we've got the water pump, but we haven't got any of the bits that go in between. So we need to figure out today exactly what we need and we need to order them so that we can get that installed. I think we're also going to cut the um, hole for the sink to sit in. Um, can't put the sink in yet because I haven't got the tiles that are going to be going on the worktop. So those have been delivered to our friend Martin's house, but we need to go and get those on Thursday. It's Tuesday. So uh, I think nearly everything's getting delivered this week. So by the end of the week, we'll have the mattress, the solar panels. So yeah, it's getting there. We're excited. And I think we're doing an okay job considering we're doing it quite fast. <laughs> But obviously it's not going to be perfect because we're doing it quite fast. The whole point for us is to go away, so that's what matters. So I'm going to get the water tank out now while my dad's having breakfast. It is in the cab. Forgotten the keys. That's not going to help, is it? All right. I might get Alan as well, get her out, get some fresh air. Let's get some... Oh, okay. She's out, she's out. Keys. You want to come and see? Can have a look at the van, Alan? Let's go see where we're up to. Oh my, it's full. Full of things. It's quite hard working in a small space. When you haven't really got an out, outside space that's under cover to work in. If it's bad weather, you have to work in here. So, yeah, it's been a little bit tricky, but it's fine. Luckily it hasn't been too bad, the weather hasn't been too bad. It's quite cold and windy. Oh, right, okay. Water tank, let's get the water tank. Oh. Water tank. I think it's a good size. It'll probably, I think the water will probably last us like two, three days, which obviously isn't very long, but we can't really fit anything bigger in this van because it's quite small. Um, if we'd ended up getting that really big van or one of those Mercedes, um, we would have been able to get like a sort of 250 litre tank or something like that, but 70 will have to do is, and I think it'll be, it'll be good. So our plan is to keep it pretty simple, 
we're not going to have a water heater we've decided um, we might put one in in the future but for now we are happy to just do it a simple way the water pump going to the water tank pulling water along to the sink in the kitchen and there's just going to be a tap that's just going to have cold water so when we want to do the washing up we'll just boil the kettle which is good enough for us that's fine and then with the shower we've um because the shower is on an, on the other side of the van to the sink we had to figure out how to do this we could have split the hose and stuff but um, there wasn't that much point because it was just going to be cold water coming from the tank so we've bought a submersible pump for the shower so that will go into a water tank next to the shower in the bench seat that we will just fill with hot water when we want a shower so again pretty simple setup but it will work for us it's it's way better than anything we've had in vans before at least we've got a shower so that is good we haven't actually got the shower head yet We've just got the pump so we need to remember to get that before we go away <laughs> i've looked at a few youtube videos which i think have helped me get my head around it a little bit i'm hoping all the bits are inside kind of sounds like they are yeah they're in there. um and yeah let's figure it out oh you're there hey alan uh, and explore What do you think? You like vans, don't you? Another day of building has happened. It's been a tough one today. I feel like the pressure of this is beginning to show. Two weeks we've got left. And we're doing pretty well. I think we will do it. The problem is, when you think you're under pressure, you start to rush things and panic a little bit and you start to think a little bit less clearly and I believe that may have happened today. We've been having some problems with plumbing parts. Plumbing isn't something that we've done much of and it's one of those things that if you don't know the names of parts and you don't know what goes into what it's easy to feel very lost. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is order a few bits, see if they fit, if not take them back. We want to get a a nice water system in here with a pump similar to what's in the boat. Actually I think it's the same as what's in the boat. So we've got something to go off, so I'm going to attempt to copy the parts that are in there and do the same thing in here. But yeah, there's been progress today, we've done a bit more woodwork, Dave's put a carpet in the boot, he's fixed the water tank in place, Emily's done some tongue and groove. So it's, it's going good but we are feeling the pressure and I think we're tired as well now. I'm exhausted. Yeah. It's gonna be worth it. I have no idea what day this is, I don't know how long we've been doing the build for. I think we've decided that we're going to set off on the 4th of March though, which is in about a week and a half. The problem when it's rainy like this is that we haven't got anywhere under cover outside to work. So I've got to work in quite a small space. <laughs> it's getting tighter and tighter in here the more we build. Tomorrow we are going to Belper to Martins to pick up all of our exciting post like the solar panels, hopefully the toilets are coming but we're not sure yet. Lots of bits and bobs to do with the water system because um, we weren't sure what to get straight away. Oh, I'm going to shut this door. Didn't do that very well. Oh. 
I'll light the fire in a sec. Uh, yeah, so... Ah! <laughs> Everything's fallen over. So yeah, yesterday I varnished where the cooker's going to go uh, and, I, and I did the inside of the shower cubicle as well. Today I'm going to finish off the cladding for these bench seats. We've cut them, I just need to cut the rest that are going to go along here and then there's going to be the same on this side as well. And then I'm going to wax them like I did with the beeswax and the sort of brewwaxy stuff, I don't know how you pronounce that just so it all kind of matches, the colours sort of match. I think we've got enough time to finish it. The tiling is going to take a bit of time. Um, hopefully we'll get that done this weekend. It seems to be raining quite a lot this next week, so we're going to have to choose our moment very carefully to put the solar on. Can't believe we're going away in about two weeks, or less than two weeks. <laughs> 4th of March, oh my god. Best crack on. But first things first, Let's make some space in here so I can actually do some work. Hey. Hello. How's it going, man? Good. I've done this. It oh, isn't quite finished. We're going to put trim along the edge and down there as well and then yeah. I need to get a bit for the corner there but yeah it looks good doesn't it? Mm. And then this lifts out That's so access good. the storage. Really what about this fluffy crevice? Yeah so the fluffy crevice is going to have a piece of wood that covers up to here um, yeah, so that's good. one of my next things to do. And then Benny made this door, I can't remember if I showed you this today. Benny made a door not quite finished, is it? We need to put something on the inside to stop it from over closing, but yeah. But unfortunately. <laughs> That'll be fine. <laughs> Let's slip through Whoopsie. the Whoopsie! <laughs> oh, man. How did you manage that? Also, this is looking ridiculous because um, it isn't screwed down yet. It's not, obviously not going to be like that. Nice. <sighs> yeah, maybe I'll just get the. Um... Most tall. Or the jigsaw and just curve. Take a little bit out. I'll just maybe this one will be easier and yeah, just do it nicely. And there's going to be a bit that goes across here as well to finish that off. Yeah, it's half finished, isn't it? I think we're going to leave this as a shelf rather than a drawer because we've got so many drawers, we don't really need another one. It's coming on. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, the woodwork is coming on. And I'll tell you, guys, I was going to tell you something now. So the plan for this is to this recess, I've started to frame it, as you can see that, and this is just a test piece, so that's going to go... Oh, that fits really nice. Yeah, so it's going to go the whole length, oh, wow. I even and see then that. up that side, and we're going to cork this back piece. I think we're going to, are we going to paint this side and we're corking that side? I don't know which side. side's which, but we've <laughs> got to get rid of this, there's this, like, old silicon that we need to try and scrape off before we frame it. But once it's framed, it's going to look really nice. And I want to do something extra special. What I want to do is the top piece of wood, put it on like this, so that there's a slight lip. And then on that inside, put strip light, like a like an orange warm colour. And then there'll be a, sort of a switch, that way, won't a switch it? to flick, and it'll like light up nice. this in a really nice way. So that'll be good. Looking forward to doing that. So that's what I'm doing next. Is what am I doing next? I don't know anymore. There's like there's a lot there's a lot of jobs to do you need still. To go on the checklist. Were I you know. going to, to be in queue? Should I just go now and get the cladding? You could get colours to paint these drawers as well. I know, but I tried painting. I think I've got to sand it first. Right. So this the paint sticks because I've got some special paint called paint for get, difficult surface, surfaces. Do you want to just get the the paint anyway? Yeah. You've picked some colours, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Going for. Manthanelia olive. Probably won't show up on the camera very well. That's going to look so I think nice. it's going to be nice with this wood. It's actually I think it's good. similar to your top and the front and back of Rasheen and the sides of Rambler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's one of our. I think that'll look nice, don't you? Things. It's going to look great. Because filming it now, this direction, it still looks very much like an ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit bleak. But I do have a couple of plans. If you step to the side, Emily. Yeah, so Emily's 
saying she's going to tile this. The tiles yeah, this have, have arrived at our friend's house. Oh, this. The, we're getting a, a window posted. That's arrived today as the well. Window's arrived. So okay. we can pick that up tomorrow. That's going to go there, and then here there's going to be some kind of thing that makes it not just white plastic. These are not part of the decoration. <laughs> They're not earplugs. They're just earplugs, so we don't lose them. <laughs> Plugs. Yeah, it's. But yeah, I think it's gonna only gonna take a few more steps, and then it's it's gonna suddenly look amazing. Wondering whether to cut a hole here so we can climb yeah. through without opening the side door. I think we should. <laughs> right, next job uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to drill holes for the oven. I've said this so many times. I need okay. to drill holes for the oven, the oven gas pipe, and you for the, the water pipes. Change of plan. We're going to put the sink in. Ended up getting a massive sink. <laughs> it's like a bath. So yeah, oh, we wanted a different one, though. but they didn't They didn't have the one we wanted. Um, we wouldn't have been able to get the other one in time or we would have had to have driven miles and miles. So this is good. It's enough space for it anyway. We're just going to cut the wood in Should situ be okay. because it's as good a workbench as any. Yeah, I think it'll so, be yeah. better there. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. sink hole is cut um obviously it's not ready to go in yet because we need to tile this um, i think we've given ourselves a very difficult job i've given myself a difficult job because obviously tiling around something that's round is going to be pretty annoying any tips for that <laughs> let me know while the weather's not as good only one of us can really work in there for a few of the jobs so while emily is cutting out holes. I'm going to make a bit of music and rambler. And I realised I haven't shown you guys me making music in here yet, so I'll give you a quick look. I do have my own music channel where I've been posting more music based stuff. The wood burners on, so I've got some studio monitors, a nice big desk, and a sofa that pulls out into a bed. Let's see how the solar's doing. 12.6 volts, which means the battery is doing well. So once I'm in here and I'm sat down, I can adjust my microphone to whether I'm singing or playing guitar or banjo. I can put my headphones on and when I want to listen back to the mixes I've made, I can use these monitors so I can create even better mixes than I was doing before. So it's been working out really nice, really ideal. So yeah, it's looking good. I'm gonna play some guitar now and start recording a new song. put the first track of guitar down, now I'm going to do a lead line on top of that. Ah, right, done that for a bit. Now I'm going to go and work on those frames in the van. Emily's nipped out to B&Q so it gives me a bit more space to start swinging those bits of strip wood about. Alan looks upset. Still. Alan's seen Big Ginger and she's a bit scared. Big Ginger. 